Howdy folks, welcome to episode 55. Today we're going to see if we can get our new lumber setup going. And so what I need to do is I need to basically get all this filled in with groundworks. Let's get that going and we need to get this train off of this track. Why don't we do that first? Get this train off of the track here. And we're going to go, we're going to move it. Um, let's see, we need to, yeah, we need to move this back. And and then uh, what we can do is we can put um, is this is that switch in the right direction? I hope it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is because we just came off of that. So in 54 we did a bonus episode 54 and a half where I brought the went and got lumber, brought that up, got the oil cars back to where they belong, and all that. And so we brought a couple extra empty cars too, so that we can use all that to do this stuff that we need to do. So we're gonna back this, I think up to here is fine. Okay. And then what we need to do is just get a bunch of uh, groundworks over here. So let's go like this and we'll get this filled in over here. I guess we're just gonna need two, two segments, right? So we'll like this and then a segment here, right? Can we do it? Will it let me? Yeah, there we go. And then we can get the, the track off of here too. So what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of this track. I did some testing off camera so that we, I could figure out what, what I needed to do. So I'll show you here what I got figured out as we build this, or I'll explain it as we build it. So what we need to do is get a track with a couple of cars that are just gonna sit there and do nothing. So, and the track is going to line up with this. So if we go here. Now the thing I'm thinking I should do is make this like a little bit of a, a slope. I'm kind of thinking I should make a little bit of a slope so that we can so that we can move these if we need to. I'm kind of thinking that's a good idea. So let's go like this. And we're going to go 50 per, uh, half of half of a degree. So we're going to go like this. Right? And then we can move these without an engine is going to be the plan. And then we're going to go like this, groundwork, variable grade. And then we're gonna go half a degree or half a percent that is. And we're gonna go like this. Okay, so our track is going to be centered on the edge of this tie here. So our track is gonna go and yeah, it's gonna go right through the edge of that. So we're gonna go like this and I believe we have the bottom of the hill right there. Does that look straight? It looks pretty straight, okay. And then we have the bottom of the hill right there and then we should be able to come back up the hill. So we go like this and we'll get a little bit, actually we don't need We don't need any more than that, we just need those two. Okay, so it should, yeah, see that looks like it lines up pretty, pretty well. So we should be able to move our trains our cars back and forth if we need to. Now, what we need to do here is go like this. We're going to put a we're going to match up a crossover to this. There we go. And then we're going to use the crossover. So, my testing indicated is that when you do when you line up two crossovers like this, then this one the tr the car that's on this track is able to um, swap over to things that are on that track. And so what I'm thinking we can do is we can, uh, we can have our, our switch dip into here and we can come by and drop our stuff off and then curve out just the tiniest bit. So we're going to get rid of these tracks too. I'm going to get rid of these and I think we can get rid of the switch. I don't think we need the switch. 
And then we're going to get rid of this track too. And we're going to make it so that we can drop the pipes off. Let's fill in the rest of this with Groundworks too, just so we don't have a big mess to deal with. So let's get at this height. We come over to here. There we go. And we'll get all this filled in. Then we don't have the problems with, you know, the track wanting to be a different height. So what we're going to do is our cars are going to come through here. And so we're going to go like this and get a straight line established. And then we're going to use the Alt key. See, then we can go straight. And then what we need to do is we need to come to about here. And then we can turn out a little bit. How much do we need to turn? Was that V? It's X and Y. There we go. And I think as long as we, there we go. As long as we do that, we should be okay. And let's see if we can, why is it so, it's because the other piece isn't on there yet. Okay, so this is going to come out one segment, and then we're going to go like, like this again. Let's see if that looks right. Yeah, see, that looks right. And then we're going to come out. like that, I think. And then we're gonna try to hook this in to our thing. We're gonna try to hook a switch into this. So let's see if we can get this to work. So we're gonna take out these and see if we can get a switch in here. So let's go like this. We're gonna switch left I think we want to do it this way, right? And I don't, I don't know if that's gonna, I don't know if that's gonna work very well. <laughs> it's gonna be a little, that's gonna be a little tight there, isn't it? I'm not sure if this is gonna actually be a viable way to get this second one. We might have to just put another track on this one, but that's not really gonna work, is it? Okay, so we might have to put a third track and just sit cars on here. Maybe that's what we can do. Okay, so we're going to kind of make this up as we go along, as you can see. So we'll put this back if we can, right? Get our main line through here. Okay, we're going to put that back. We're going to go like... See, I don't know. I know that's really tough. It's a really tough call because we need to get this track. Yeah, let's just let's just try it this way. We're gonna do an extra set. So, whoops, and we need to go like this. And I think if we go like that, yeah, okay. You click outside it and you drag over, and then it'll demolish the the three the three foot segment first. It'll demolish that before it demolishes like the, the crossovers and the switches. Okay, so we're going to go like this. We're going to do our straight piece of track. And yeah, I know we don't have a tilt on this one, do we? But that's okay. All right, so we've got our straight piece of track. Now, if we put cars on here, they will be able to... Um, they will be able to unload onto the, the lumber rack. And then if we put cars onto here, they'll be able to unload onto that. So what we need to do is we need to put a third set of cars, a uh, set of tracks, that is. So we're going to put our cross over here. And then we're going to go like this, not G. We're going to go V, right? And we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to use the Alt key. And we're going to go like this. See, I'm kind of thinking if we can get that in just a little bit closer, we can get those to land on that. 
we can get those to land on that. Yeah, that's a tough call, isn't it? Because I don't... I don't think... If we have this one here, I don't think we can get... Let me see. If we have that one there... Yeah, actually, I think we can. I think we can. Why don't we try that? So let's delete this. Um, let me th let me think of what I'm doing here. We do need this third track for this one, but we need a different track for that one. So yeah, let's build this one. <laughs> We're kind of engineering this on the fly, and then we get to test it too. So that's going to be the fun part, right? Okay, so this is going to go like this. And this. Does that need to come all the way that far? No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. So we've got those two. And then what we need to do is we need to come up with... See, I think there's not really a good measure for this, is there? Let's see. If we go like this... Pretty much centered on there, isn't it? It's just a little bit to the side. Okay, so maybe if we do a, a piece, you see the ties line up with the front of that, right? With the middle of this, the middle of this post. So if we line up, if we put a cross over here and we line up the ties with the middle of that post, let's do this. Can we get that tie in there? No. Okay. So this tie, the middle of the post, is that parallel? It's, yeah, it's nice and parallel. Okay, it's pretty good. All right, and then we can go like this. And then this is where we need our track to be. And then if we have a third one out here, Is that going to be close? See, I think our track is going to have to dip in a little bit. So our track is going to have to kind of dip in a little bit in order to be able to reach this one. So that's the plan. Okay, so let's go like this. I don't think we're going to do this because this isn't perfectly parallel. As you can see, it's pointing that way a little bit. So I think we're just going to do our own angle here. See if we can get this to, to work. And we'll get two of these. Let's get this, we'll get some extra. Okay. So we've got that segment there. We need to um, dip this track in a little bit, right? To where it's parallel with this. So we can do that. Okay, let's get rid of this, 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 and then what we can do is we can go, let's see we need to come to where we're parallel with that, so let's start with this end, we'll see what we can do from this end. We're going to start here, and we're going to go like, this and bring this a little bit farther is there a end we can hook up to there we go and then hook up to the next one there okay so that should get us I think where we need to go. Let's see. Did it, why? Why did it erase that one? Really? <sighs> okay. Let's get rid of this one. And both of these, I guess. Let's try this again. <laughs> right? Okay. We're going to go like this. Come this way. 
Where's the junction? There it is. It's right there. There we go. Okay, so we want to get rid of this one here. And I think that'll do it, right? We didn't have a double segment there, did we? I think we only overlapped the one. Okay, and is this one going to be really... This one's going to be really jerky, isn't it? Okay. So let's try this again. We're going to go like this. We're going to come out this way. And then we're going to go an extra segment. There. And then we need to get one of those segments out of there. Do either of them look... No, they both look the same, don't they? Okay. So that should work. Hopefully our oil tankers won't smash in <laughs> into that, right? And hopefully we can reach these from there. We'll have to see. We're going to have to bring up the log things next episode to do that. So let's get some more of these rails out of here. This one and this one. And then we'll get these off the end. You can do it. I don't want to touch the other rail, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. All right. So what we need to do is we need to get two cars on here, two cars on here, and two cars on here. And hopefully those won't be so close that they collide too, right? And then we can try this out. So let's go re-rail. Let's make sure we have the the brakes on that. And we're going to re-rail this one down here. All right, and then we're going to... Is that one a little bit too far? Yeah. See, I'm not sure if we can... Can we even fit? Well, yeah, that's right. This this is the center. Or this is part of the thing. So, yeah, that's, that's fine. All right. And then this one, let's make sure we have the brakes on it. And you know what? I should save this, too. Let's save this. We're going to save in slot 9. And we're going to go re-rail this car. We're going to put it over here. That's perfect. Okay. I think that's pretty much where we want it. All right, and so then we need an, another set of cars on this one. So I think what we need to do is probably get rid of that switch because it's just going to be an annoyance. Why don't we do that? Demolish rails. We're going to get rid of this switch. And we're going to put our rail in here. We're going to have so many splines. <laughs> right. There we go. Okay. So we need to get... Let's put the brakes on these cars. And these cars. Those two, both of them. Okay. Do we need to pull them up? I don't know that we need to pull them up. Let's see. Let's go like this. We'll take this one. I think I think this is close enough that we should be able to just put them on here. So let's see if we can. Yeah, see. Let's see if it'll let us sit it right here. And a little bit back. A little bit. There we go. Nope, that's a little bit too far. Can we... There we go. I think that'll do it. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, good. And so if you see... Um, you can see the arrow. The arrow just basically needs to be on there. So if, if we load this onto here... See? We can load this onto here. And then if we go like this, 
if we go to this one, see, it'll load it back onto that. And so now we have five back on this one. So see, when you play some, they just barely. I did not test to see if you could get any more out of that. I just assumed that the arrow is the limit of how far you can get. So I, you know, and maybe it's the bounding box. Maybe the arrow is the center of where this hits, you know, where the, the center of where this thing hits and then the bounding box has to hit this bounding box. It's probably a more likely situation. But yeah, so then when we do that, we can unload them onto the platform from here. So then we just need to get more of these onto here, which shouldn't be a problem, right? Let's go like this, re-rail. We'll get this flat car onto here. There we go. Can we get it onto there? I think it's when I'm standing on the flat car, it doesn't like it. There we go. All right, so these two will be able to unload onto that, and that will be able to unload onto the um, platform. So then we just need one more set. <laughs> one more set of those. Let's take our engine back there and hook it up. We have a, yeah, we have a clip on there, okay. So, why don't we give it some fuel too? Give it a little bit of fuel here. All right, and do this. Let's see if we can get this all lined up. I'm just hoping that has doesn't have a here. Let's see, that doesn't already have a pin on it, does it? No. Okay. Cool. And we're gonna hit the brakes on this one just so that when this hits, it doesn't destroy everything, right? And there we go. Okay, so let's disconnect these two. There we go. Now remember, we, we have the pin on the car now. So we're gonna have to come back and if we do that, we're gonna have to come back and do the other thing. Oh, we need to get the brake off of that too. There we go. And let's go. Oh, you know what else we need to do? We need to go flip this switch. Because that's just going to go into <laughs> a pit of despair, right? Okay. <laughs> Something like that. It's going to go off to the side. Okay. So we can get rid of this switch, too. Because we're not going to need that. All right, let's go like this. See, it'll simplify a lot of this. We could actually change that switch to the other side and make the siding longer too, if we really wanted to. All right, let's try going like this. I think we can take the engine over that um, thing and check and make sure it's gonna be good too. We'll take our porter past that and make sure that that's gonna be okay. So I think what I want to do is I want to stop beside this and I want to make sure that, yeah, no, that's fine because the cars don't come past the edges of the ties. So yeah, we're good. We're good on that. All right, let's go like this. All right, let's save our game over slot nine. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put this one we're going to re-rail this car onto here there we go right there I just want to make sure it's not going to yeah there we go okay good just hit the brakes put the brakes on this one too let's see if these collide that's what I wanted to find out is if these are going to collide so let's actually take this brake off. We're gonna go like this. That's gonna be so much of a problem if that collides. Okay, that's why we saved it, right? Let's see if those bonk into each other. Nope. They don't seem to want to collide. Okay. 
Cool. Well, that kind of works itself out. Let's try this too. Make sure that we're not going to hit this. So we'll let this coast a little bit more. See what's going to happen here. I'd get out of the train to, to watch it, but I don't have the mod running right now, so we're not going to be able to go as fast. And this thing is picking up speed. All right. Looks good. Okay, so we will get this out of here. Rerail. And we're going to put this one up here. Let's go like this. We could probably even move this a little bit. Like, can we, can we get it to go a little bit farther? There we go. Okay, like that. Let's put the brakes on it too. And we can move this one a little bit because this one is a little bit too far. Rerail. Let's rerail this one. Is it did didn't take? There we go. Okay. Let's get it over here. There we go. Okay. So let's see if we can get this. Yeah, it's much better. Like that. There we go. Okay. So now all we need to do is to bring our lumber by is to do that. So let's get our porter out of the way here. I think we can sit it on the siding over here. So let's go do that. This way. And let me see, we have just enough fuel to do that. Okay. All right, let's get our switch switched. And reverse. We'll get this under the siding. And then we need to switch our switch back too. All right, we're out of the foul. Okay, let's switch the switch back, and then we'll go back to our other train and see if we can do our offloading. That should be cool. So we have a few what six cars dedicated to just sitting there, and then we're gonna have to bring the the steel cars up too. I mean, even if we can only unload one steel pipe car at a time. That's still faster than doing all the shunting back and forth and all that stuff. Let's get rid of this too while we're doing this. Demolish rails. Right, we don't need this switch. So we're going to go like this. And we're going to hook this up. There we go. Beautiful. All right. And then I believe we turned off, I don't think we had the brakes on these, right? Brakes, brakes, no, no brakes. Okay, and then this one, no brakes. This one's gonna be on the front, no brakes. Okay, all right, we're good. So we need to throw some fuel in this. And let's take off with this. Let's see here. Reverser, brakes off, and let's get some speed going. That's gonna be a lot simpler coming through this yard with only one switch to deal with on that side too. It's, that's gonna help a lot. So that, that will be a very nice thing to have. Not have to deal with all that. All right, and then, so we're gonna try and see if we can offload all this stuff. We'll see how convenient it is. And this is probably the last time we're even gonna bring lumber here. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that we're doing all this, but yeah, it's still, I, you know what? We can line up the shadows with the cars, can't we? We can do that sort of thing. So we just need to line up these two. Let's line up a little bit more. There we go. Okay. 
Let's see how that looks. See, that's lined up. And that's gonna, still going to land on that car. Okay, so now what we should be able to do is we should be able to offload this on here. And we're going to offload this one on here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Whoops. Why did it, why, it didn't stop. Well, that sucks. Okay. So let's make sure that this one's going to offload onto the platform. Yes. Okay. So we did get those onto the platform. <laughs> this one apparently is too far over. It's weird because they, they were pretty much parallel. I guess I moved, I guess we did find the threshold then. This is, the, this is definitely the threshold. Okay. So in order to, in order to do that, is it this one is over too far maybe? I'm kind of wondering which way is which. I mean, it's so close that I can't really get a sense of which one is in the wrong place, you know? Um, let's get this one over here. You can do this. Nope. Stop. Thank you. Okay. So we've got, yeah, we've got a couple issues here. <laughs> But I think you get the idea. And so what I can do is I can just move this track over a little bit. I mean, we need to move that track over just a tiny bit too. So can we at least get stuff onto this one? And this one, let's test this too. That's gonna be, that's gonna be a no. I can almost guarantee that's gonna be a no. Yeah, okay. All right. So this needs to move over this way a little bit. And then this needs to move over that way a little bit. Okay. So we still need a little bit of work to do, but I think you got the idea. And so I'm going to do the details of that in a uh, bonus episode. We're not going to spend hours doing this. So what I'll do is I'll just move these two off of this track, move the track over an inch, you know, kind of thing, and do that. So anyway, that's going to be it for episode 55. Join me in episode 56. And I will get this working and then we'll, we'll do the actual demonstration of how it works. And then we'll see if we can get our oil stuff working again. So anyway, that's going to be it for episode 55. Join me in episode 55 and a half or 56. And we'll see you then. Later. <laughs>